Hey everybody, welcome to Luna Kava Kava. In my YouTube channel, we'll talk about natural remedies for common ailments, natural or homemade products for your self-care routine, and other topics related to living a frugal but sustainable lifestyle. This channel will also show you different do-it-yourself hacks and tricks and tell you about key ingredients to look for in your favorite brands or products. To learn more about cost-efficient health tips, ideas on how to create a sustainable and environmentally friendly household, or to stay in the loop about common household items and brands that promote sustainability, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Moving on, let's go over some easy-to-make homemade air and fabric fresheners. There are numerous air and fabric freshener brands sold in stores that work well. In fact, most homes use air fresheners on a regular basis. However, the environmental impact of plastic packaging, usage of toxic chemicals, and an increase in one's carbon footprint are not sustainable for the environment. Homemade air and fabric fresheners, on the other hand, are economical, in that you make them for less than store-bought ones. These are more apt for sustainable living because they are made using ingredients and tools that you may already have or by repurposing kitchen scraps. Using all-natural or organic ingredients will lead to a healthier lifestyle as they are free of chemicals and toxins, pesticides, or unnecessary preservatives. If you are not into making homemade solutions, there are many all-natural and sustainable alternatives readily available in stores. You may need to do a little more research, however, and in some cases, pay a little extra. Make sure that a product's use of the terms organic and natural are backed by tests or certifications and are not just used as a marketing gimmick to attract more conscientious buyers. Air and fabric fresheners are great if you want to have a fragrant-smelling household. However, some individuals prefer that their living spaces be fragrance-free. In this case, there are natural methods of getting rid of odor, such as getting to the source of the odor and either removing it from your home or moving it to a more secluded location. Cleaning surfaces and appliances regularly help keep odors away. Frequently used rooms such as the kitchen, laundry room, and areas where your pets stay in, along with frequently used appliances, should be cleaned more often than others. Some simple ways to remove odor include sprinkling baking soda, placing indoor plants in your home. These can serve as air filters that clean the air and purify it, and making sure to use a vent or opening your windows while cooking. If you would like to make your own air fresheners, well, the following do-it-yourself recipes are for you. Number 1. Making a Stovetop Poopery Use a pot to simmer the potpourri on your stovetop. You may use an electric simmer pot to make it easier. Simmer all the ingredients together for a few hours and add water when the potpourri is close to drying out. Stovetop potpourri is made from edible ingredients, kitchen scraps, and other ingredients found in your kitchen, such as citrus peels, spices, garden-grown herbs, and fruits. These can be simmered for hours and even for days. Make sure not to leave the potpourri unattended. This is also an excellent way to divert biodegradable waste from landfills and add moisture to the air if it's dry. The ingredients you use can be changed according to what you have available or what is in season. You can use used coffee ground, used tea leaves or used tea bags fresh or frozen cranberries, or lemongrass. Here are some combinations you can try at home. 1. Lemon, Rosemary, and Vanilla Use lemon peels from at least one lemon, five rosemary twigs, and a tablespoon of vanilla. Orange, cinnamon, and cloves Use one cinnamon stick, one tablespoon of cloves, an orange peel, and one tablespoon of vanilla. 
During the holidays, you can make a holiday simmer pot by simmering ingredients such as apple cider vinegar and cinnamon sticks. You may also use apple pie or pumpkin pie inspired spices to get your house into a holiday mood. If other scents remind you of the holidays, go ahead and add those as well. You are only limited by your imagination after all. Whatever the recipe, do turn off your stovetop when you are done simmering and resume simmering the next time you'll use it. Keep the pot covered when not in use. Number 2. Diffusers Use your favorite essential oil or a combination of two or more of these in a diffuser to freshen up the air in your home or in a particular room. Keep a diffuser near your work area to help you concentrate and boost your energy. Diffusers are popular and readily available in stores and they come in different shapes, sizes, and come with a variety of features. Of course, diffusers need not be overly sophisticated to work. What matters is that they can diffuse the scent to all corners of the room or your home. Number 3. Air Freshener Sprays To make an air freshener spray, mix 1 cup of water, 10 to 15 drops of essential oil, 1 tablespoon of baking soda, and 3 tablespoons of either vodka, rubbing alcohol, or vanilla extract. You may also mix 2 or more essential oils into one spray. Just make sure that, when combined, all of the oils add up to 15 drops at most. Mix the spray well before using. Note that you can mix and match different oils to your liking. Here are some recommended combinations of essential oils for your spray. Lavender and chamomile. Citrus, lavender, and rosemary. Citrus and peppermint. Lavender and grapefruit. Tea tree, lemon, and eucalyptus. Lemon and basil. Citrus and rose. The same ingredients I mentioned earlier for air freshener sprays can also be used to make a fabric freshener spray. However, the ratio of ingredients will change. Use one half cup of water, one fourth cup of vodka or rubbing alcohol, and 10 drops of your favorite essential oils. To create a garden-themed fabric freshener spray, mix one sliced lemon, six rosemary twigs, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract in a mason jar. Allow the ingredients to sit in the jar for a week. Transfer the resulting liquid into a spray bottle. Another spray you can make involves mixing one part baking soda, three parts vinegar, and 25 to 30 drops of essential oil. This can be a mixture of oils or just one scent. Mix all the ingredients well before using the spray. You can also make your own holiday-themed air freshener and give it away as a present. Not all essential oils are of the same quality, so make sure that the oils you use are of decent quality. Mix citrus-scented essential oils, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, vanilla, peppermint, cedarwood, sandalwood, cypress, and eucalyptus. Try to store the spray in glass bottles for that elegant yet festive look. Be mindful that you don't add too many oils, however. Instead, assign proportions to each essential oil. For instance, you may use at most 6 essential oils. The spray would have 10 drops each of your top 2 favorite oils, 5 drops each from your second favorite pair of oils, and 2 drops each of your least preferred oils. The idea is to avoid a mishmash of scents, which could overpower your sense of smell. Of course, the lower the number of oils used, the better. Number 4. Fabric Freshener Powder Mix 2 cups of baking soda with 25 drops of essential oils or your preferred combination. Sprinkle the powder inside your car or on the carpet. Leave the powder on for several hours before vacuuming. Air fresheners come in different forms, from automated misting sprays, 
beads, plug-in containers, heated wax, and sprays. All of these are one cause of air pollution. In fact, indoor air pollution can sometimes be worse than air pollution outside, as store-bought air fresheners have toxic chemicals that can hurt indoor air quality. While infrequent exposure to insignificant amounts will not lead to major health concerns, repeated exposure will. Carcinogenic chemicals such as formaldehyde are present in some regular household items like air fresheners. Companies are not bound by law to disclose the details of the ingredients used, especially those used for fragrance. The scents from store-bought air fresheners bombard public spaces such as schools, offices, stores, publicly accessible buildings such as hotels and malls, and our homes. When these are used, we don't have much choice but to breathe in the chemicals included in them, which can lead to illness and worsen existing allergic reactions. Do your research on certifications involving toxic and non-toxic chemicals, especially since these are updated on a regular basis. Some store-bought fresheners are flammable and must be handled with care around a fire. Keep them away from children because some of the ingredients are toxic and or poisonous and may have long-term effects on their development. In case of accidental ingestion, Seek medical attention immediately. Like, subscribe, and switch on notifications so you don't miss out on more videos about living a frugal and natural lifestyle.